I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Sacramento by at Dizzyfire. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Dizif. Yeah. Music by Glassbody. So this is, um. Well, let's just read the description. Sacramento is a game about capturing fleeting moments before they fade. You'll wander through an ephemeral and uncanny landscape. Flashback of moments I gathered on. Drift aimlessly across time and space. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts, as life will soon resume its course. Perhaps the same can be said of all games. So this has uh, gamepad support. Hello, Parker. You coming to interrupt me? Of course you are. Wish more, you know. Nope, there's a jump button. Um, there's a check your watch button. Th those are the two buttons that I would recommend in any particular game. Uh, the check your watch button, because I mean, you, don't, you gotta know what time it is. And then, you, of course, you need to jump. Because I mean, you gotta have that. Yes, that's right, Parker. Yeah, that's right. Parker has strong opinions about jumping because he is a cat. This is- I know, I know, I know you have strong opinions. Hello, Mr. Friend. They don't like me. They're shaking their heads at me. But they- yet they allow me to walk among their kin. Perhaps they are accepting me after all. Oh! Mr. Firefly. Don't do this to me, Mr. Firefly. I know you have social anxiety, but you, you need to open up. Oh, he's gone. He warped through the universe. That's what happens when you have social anxiety. I can I can attest to that. Sometimes you just you just warp through the universe. It's 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 fine. I don't quite yeah. I don't like how the camera controls works with the gamepad. So we're we're going to switch back to WSD. -AD. I'm glad they're included, but uh, they're really insensitive and it feels. I don't know, something feels weird. Like, it feels... I don't know, it's probably just the speed, really. I assume we can't cross the impossible barrier of... Oh, nope. That's fine. I, I believe we are underwater now. Hello, Mr. Fish. Oh! Unity, please. Yeah, yeah, this is a good old Unity not locked in game. The um, README file slightly lies, by the way. It says the controls classic FPS, WSAD plus mouse and keyboard. There's actually spacebar, but it doesn't seem to be important. Are we ever turning a little pink here? I'm not sure it's supposed to be going this way. I can't tell if the red or the pinkness is because of the time that's elapsing, or me heading in this direction. Okay, we're, we're definitely not supposed to be over here. Oh, the sun is setting. I see. That's neat. See, this is a free slash pay what you want game on itch.io. Um, music by Glass Bunny. Um, game by dzif.com. You can find all that info. Okay, we're back to reality now. Um, you can find all that info on the itch.io page. Just go check it out. This is the pinkest sunset I've ever seen. I don't mind it, though. We've got some- up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. and the singularity has arrived. That's not good. Oh, I clicked out of the window again. Wait. Wait, does time go fast? Wait, what is happening? Up. Oh, you only get so- oh, I see. It really means that when it says, enjoy the quiet while it lasts. Hmm. We're gonna have to- we're gonna have to speedrun enjoyment. And find all of the fun within four minutes, it seems, was my timer about. Does- does holding my hand out speed up the time, or...? So my watch seems a little broken there. Ooh! Little, um... Lollipop fan trees. Sound just like the real fans. I'm actually suffering in heat because I uh, turned off my real fans. Actually, it's not too bad today. I just turn off my air conditioner whenever I uh, do the old video things. Hello, friends. I just want to be friends. Why would you like me? <laughs> God damn it. Unity, it's been several years since that bug has been an issue. 
I do like these whipping willows, so. Eh, don't you shake your head at me. I have just as much right to be at whoa. Okay, since everything's 2D, it kind of warps a lot when you uh, move the mouse vertically. So let's just not do that. Alright, I forgot. We have to speedrun our entertainment so we don't get sucked back into the portal. Alright, we have to go. Ooh! It's like the Capitol building. What. What awaits us inside? Ooh! The mysteries of time and space await us inside. Okay. That's fine. I'm glad that's what's inside. Just gonna walk into. Oh! Is that all there is in here? My hand is extra blurry in here. And there's a bit of my hand on the top left there. It's kind of gross. It's kind of gross. Just put that gross hand away. I have no idea if there's like a thing we can do in here. I'm, I'm in this pretty blind. I figured it was just a... Is the door? The door is closed now. I have appeased, or possibly enraged, the time and space gods. Can't go further that way. Oh no. Oh no, let me back in. Let me back in. The, 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 the time gods are about to kill me. You have to save me. I have a family. You gotta. <laughs> okay. I really love the uh, sketchy look of everything. Are we gonna get sucked back into the time vortex? Yeah, I wasn't sure if that would be all there was to it, or if... I don't know, that door closes, this makes me a little suspicious. I, I love these walking sim sort of things, and you know, games with no objectives, all games, that sort of stuff. I, I just kind of wish I knew if there was a goal. Like, is there a win condition? Is there a, you know, an objective? That's why I have a collection on itch.io. Um, it's just called Cool Weird Games, fittingly enough. And, um, you know what? Screw your rules. I'm just gonna go this way. Um. Oh, right. What? what? Um. Yeah, I try to mention if a game has a goal, or how long it is, or if, you know, you just wander around. Because sometimes it's fairly... Uh, sometimes it is not. Uh, this one's seeming pretty clear that this is about all there is to see. But, um... I was a little suspicious because that door closed. I love this water. This is the sort of thing I hope people are making for VR. I, I don't know how many things are... You know, how many alt games sort of things. I just... It's kind of amazing. VR has tons of shovelware already before it has like mainstream commercial success. It's usually not how it goes. I guess VR is just so far ahead of things, it just jumped right past being popular and went straight to the shovelware. But, I mean, I'm sure there's good make- like there's Cosmic Trip. Um, that looks really cool. Um, visually it's an amazing little- it's like a tower defense sort of thing. Um, but uh, visually it looks really great and uh, I've heard that people really like it a lot and it's like their go-to VR game even more than like Job Sim. Job Sim, I was really looking forward to that. It sounds like it's hilarious for like 15 minutes and then you get kind of tired of it. Which uh, I don't tend to have a problem with that except the game's like 40 bucks or something? Like a lot of VR games, they just feel like they're testing the waters in every possible way. So the prices are like crazy erratic, but uh, it'll probably stabilize by the time I get into it. Uh, PSVR is gonna be my first foray into VR. I'll, uh... <laughs> There's some interesting artifacts b b due to how the uh, 2D stuff matches in this 3D. <gasps> oh, we were supposed to be able to walk through the waterfall. Okay, okay. I'm glad. I was. I was kind of close to quitting, but. Um... Wait, no, is this all there is? I did see this, just not in the intended way. I'm good at breaking things, my friends. Hmm. Let's wait until it's night and then go into that building. I think we've pretty much seen what there is to see. But uh, if you want a lovely purple and blue 
nightscape to uh, relax in. This is free on itch.io, or you can toss the creator a little tip. Um, itch.io had some um, statistics, and more people than I expected actually do give tips or pay over the required amount. I was expecting like 0.1% or something, but uh, apparently it's not too uncommon. Oh, I, I think this just closes after X amount of time. So I guess you can't, like, slip in here and try to avoid the, um, apocalypse or whatever is going on here. Those are some lovely flowers. Ah! It's a little weird with how the, uh, 2D interacts with that camera. But yeah, what a lovely little landscape. I still don't know why I can check my watch. My watch doesn't seem very effective! I mean, it's half past fast, I guess, is about the time I would approximate. I mean, I guess it's technically accurate compared to this clock here. Wait, no it's not. They're, they're, uh, neither clock matches up, that's... How dare they. Oh well. That was Sacramento by at DZFYR, which is very hard to pronounce as a word. Anyway, that was very lovely. Short, but... Uh, Sometimes you just need a little... You know, I kind of like when games don't overstay their welcome. I That's part of why I find it so easy to just pop into these short, weird games. Um, helps that they're free, honestly. But um, you know, I toss some money at the ones that I really like, too. Like, uh, wait, what, Payroll wasn't free, was it? Um, but yeah, um, that was the last one I remember buying. But um, Oh. The train's taken off without me. I didn't press anything. I guess it just automatically starts. Or does something else happen? I have to see what happens now. Do we just... Is this the afterlife? No, it's just the normal game. Okay. I forget if I was in the middle of saying something. Oh yeah, but yeah, I, I like when games don't overstay their welcome. And it's like... <coughs> I've seen some weird walking sims that like... That they tried... Oh! Hello, friend! Friend, can can I share you the watch of my people? You gonna have a hum? I've been known to hum. I won't I won't subject the viewers to it though. How did I miss you before? I guess it's just kind of there. I'm just gonna be rude and creep around you all the whoa. You're oddly don't take this the wrong way, but you're pretty flat. Yeah, she's just there. How did I not see her before? I'm wondering if I've missed other things. If you want to see if I've missed other things, feel free to download the game and poke around. But, uh, yeah, I prefer when games don't overstay their welcome. I've seen some, you know, alt-gamey things where, you know, they, they try to add difficulty and stuff, and it's like, you know, it's maybe five, ten minutes of sentiment, and you gotta play, like, an hour of just not very enjoyable stuff, and, uh... It's nice to not have that, honestly. Like, what was it? Uh, Condor by Connor Sherlock. I like most of his walking sims, but there's this one where you had to run around with a jetpack, and um, it's very easy when you're starting out to fall down a lot and not know how to get around. And uh, I, I, and then you get lost in a maze. It's like, I just wanted to see cool sights like I did in this game. Why do I have to navigate a completely uninteresting maze? It was, um, it wasn't very pleasant. Anyway, this is Sacramento. <laughs>